My name is Jennifer Horn. I'm the former chairman of the New Hampshire Republican Party. Uh, more importantly, I'm a mom, five children. And that is what leads me here today. Let us have faith that right makes might. And in that faith, let us, to the end, dare to do our duty as we understand it. These were the words that Abraham Lincoln, standing in this hall, at this podium 160 years ago today. In that address, Lincoln made the most persuasive, most effective argument against the continuation of slavery in America, and it propelled him to the White House. By invoking the brilliance and inspiration of our founding fathers, Lincoln was able to inspire his audience and Americans across the country to join him in doing what was right, what was moral, what was most American, that is fighting for freedom and equality for all. Lincoln's address at Cooper Union changed the course of American history. So too it determined the path of the Republican Party. From Lincoln's presidency, our party charted a course toward freedom. We were the freedom fighters who stood not only with Lincoln but with suffragettes as they fought for the right to vote, with Martin Luther King in the fight for civil rights, and with Ronald Reagan as he confronted the menace of communism. This is the Republican Party that I proudly called my own for over 30 years. But this is not the Republican Party of today. Ours has become a party of fear, division, and fealty to a corrupt and dangerous leader. The party of Trumpism cannot also be the party of Lincoln. It is, this is the terrible dichotomy that those of us who still hold dear the principles of our 16th president simply cannot reconcile. I am a Republican because I believed that the principles upon which our party was founded, the principles of Lincoln, strengthened and raised up everyone in our community, regardless of who they are or how they vote, Republican or Democrat, straight or gay, married or single, black or white. I'm a Republican because I believed for all those years that we were fighting for the same principles Abraham Lincoln so eloquently articulated in this great hall so many years ago. Ours is a nation of great ideals, built on the shoulders of exceptional men and women, not Republicans and Democrats, but extraordinary Americans who led with strength and courage and sacrifice. Lincoln was not alone on this stage. Frederick Douglass, Elizabeth Cady Stanton, Theodore Roosevelt, Susan B. Anthony, and so many others who have crossed these boards to give voice to the American ideal of freedom and opportunity for all. My husband and I raised five children together in the unshakable belief that America is truly the greatest nation on earth, a beacon of hope for freedom-seeking people everywhere. Everything we do, everything my husband and I do, our jobs, our activism, our volunteerism, what and how we teach our children, is fueled by the commitment to make a better world for them and their children. Because yes, I am also now a grandmother. <laughs> and my grandchildren are beautiful and perfect. <laughs> I believe that the overwhelming majority of Americans are motivated by the same thing. We all just want the best world possible for our kids. That's why I stand here today, joining these other patriots on the stage with me, not just in a fight against a president that I believe poses an existential threat to the republic, but in the fight for, for what is true, what is honorable, what is constitutional. In, in the words of Abraham Lincoln, fighting for what is right, that right makes might, and in the faith that in the end we will all come together and dare to do our duty. Thank you. Thank you.